What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to an Inform Diego Costa review. Yes, we have managed to pick him up. I picked him up late last night. I was playing with him as late as I could and then I got out today and I have made this review for you guys. So, hope you appreciate that we've got this review as quick as we possibly could. He looks like an absolute beast. What we're always going to do is we're going to look at some in-game stats, some real-life stats, some gameplay and then I'll give you my final opinion on him. One quick thing before we started, uh, if you guys want to pick up some FIFA points, uh, the cheapest place to get Microsoft points, I've stuck a link to, it, uh, to the website down below. Go check them out if you want. And anyway, let's get cracking. So first up, his name is Diego Costa. He is a striker from Brazil. He is plays for Atletico Madrid. He does actually have eligibility to play for Spain in the next few years, I believe. And I think that's what he's planning on doing. But obviously, like I said, plays for Atletico Madrid in the Liga BBVA. He's around 6 foot 2 in height according to the game. I'm not exactly sure how true it is. Sometimes it's wrong. And at the time recording, he costs 145,000 coins on the Xbox 360. That is likely to go down as the week goes on. So some of his key stats are his 93 finishing, his 89 sprint speed, 90 six shot power which is very very impressive 94 volleys 87 ball control freestyle weak foot and freestyle skill moves he also has high attacking work rate and high defensive work rate this sometimes means he isn't actually all the way up the pitch when you want him to be because he comes back a little bit too frequently to defend here are some of his in-game stats as i scroll through them obviously you can see that 87 ball control i mentioned a very impressive 84 dribbling a really good head in accuracy decent long shots fantastic shot power like i said obviously terrible defending stats the freestyle weak foot and freestyle skills that I mentioned. Fantastic strength at 94. I don't know why I didn't include this in his key stats, but absolutely extremely impressive. Uh, look at that clearance as well to lead to that attack. Absolute quality. But uh, yeah, a very, very impressive strength there, uh, v making him one of the stronger players on the game. Really good aggression as well at 97, I believe it was. Uh, as you can see just from these chances, his finishing is absolutely just sensational. Uh, he's always getting on the end of chances for you. I will actually have a squad builder up in the next few days of the team I used him in. I did end up using him in, in two different teams but um, the majority of the time he was with uh, the second of the two teams and uh, yeah like I said he was absolutely fantastic um the, the sprint speed is uh, is interesting, so his, his final sprint speed is very high at 89, but his acceleration is really no, uh, really low even at 77, so it, I say really low, but in comparison to his sprint speed, so it takes him a little while to get to full speed, but if you've got him at full speed, he will be really good, but in terms of uh, going from a standing still to absolutely sprinting through the defence, he isn't necessarily the quickest of them, but if he is running up the pitch, which he does seem to be doing quite a lot with his uh, extremely uh, high attacking work rate, it means he's, uh, he's he can get back up there really quick and if he's still on his sprint he can get straight past the defence like it's absolutely nothing so that is a very useful thing to, to, for him to have I guess um like I said as well, his finishing is sensational. He has really good finesses. Obviously, the finesses were uh, nerfed a bit today. So, a lot of these finesses were scored before the update. But I still did score a few after it. Uh, he's got fantastic, like, just shot power as well. So, a lot of the time, look at this lovely little goal here. Uh, eventually drops back to him. But, um, fantastic finishing. He always seems to find the net. Uh, one thing I will find, I did find about him, though, is compared to someone like, for example, a Ronaldo or someone like that, he can't make his own goals. He needs to be involved in play. Like, you cut his... Re okay, I probably say that here as he actually does that but <laughs> that literally is the worst highlight to come on as I say it but 9 times out of 10 I really struggle to just give the ball to him and get him to go and score which is something I tend to find myself doing when I'm trying to review a player but I did find if I just played naturally as if it's a normal team he gets involved in far more goals if you just play uh, the ball will eventually just drop to his feet and you'll eventually just get chances with him and he will always put them away he never misses chances so that is one thing I can definitely say about him is, uh, is a good a good value uh, for money thing but um, like I said as well it's finished is very very good worth his salt uh, yeah so really in general he's great at scoring goals he's not great at making stuff but if he's involved in it he will always guarantee to get you that goal so that is all I've got to say for that reason I'm giving him an 8.5 out of 10 as you can see on the screen now uh, he's very very good at finishing moves but not so great at starting them sadly he runs back too often with his high defensive work rate but I would 100% recommend him if you can pick him up I really enjoyed using him and I think he's going to be great for Brazilian teams and for Liga BBVA teams but that is the end of this review, guys. I hope you did enjoy it very, very much. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Thanks again for watching. Have a nice day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.